So we're standing in a cotton crop here today and the focus with most growers is to control the weeds in the crop. But weeds are generally not appearing in crop, they're coming from other areas in the farming system. We use non-glyphosate tactics to control those, those weeds to make sure they're not setting seed and topping up the seed bank. One of the big areas around our cotton farms is our roadsides and we can see grasses like feathertop roads grass, barnyard grass and other emerging weeds like button grass and they're potentially going to move into our cotton crop in the future. One thing we need to do moving from fallows into our, into our cotton crops is to make sure that we've got good lay-by and residual herbicides in there. Getting rid of that first germination of those problem grass weeds so that when we do get into the crop we're starting with a clean field. In dry land situations where we don't have the crop competition and canopy closure that we do get in irrigation systems, when we get to the defoliation and picking stage, if we've had any survivors that's an opportunity to come back in with a, with a knockdown herbicide and clean up those late emerging weeds. With the new Bowl Guard 3, there's been a change in the requirements for pupae busting. However, in our experience, the opportunity to use that as a targeted tillage is one way to clean up late emerging weeds.